Hey guys, what's going on? Troy and Mountain Man Treasure here, and I sell worthless stuff for a living. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. I go to garage sales and estate sales and thrift stores and buy stuff off the internet from various places. I, I buy it and then I sell it again for profit. Mostly that happens on eBay. And I sell all kinds of stuff. And if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know, not only do I sell things from any category out of my store, I pretty much sell things for any price point out of my store. I, I think our top sale out of the store uh, all, all time is right around $1,500. And then I'll sell something for like a buck and a half plus shipping, $2 plus shipping, right? It's a wide margin. I do that for several reasons. We've talked about that on the channel before, but I, I figured worth mentioning again, because I actually just got a comment here recently saying, you know, I, I really think that you should think about this because you're selling way too many worthless items out of your store. You know, the, the, the argument generally is, you know, you're wasting your time and your gas and shipping supplies. I disagree. And we'll talk about that here really quickly. We're not going to take a deep dive into it, but we're going to take a look at it. But first, let's take a look at the stuff that I sold. And I guess you can decide whether it has worth or not. That's it. <laughs> We've got three going out. One of them sold overnight. One of them just sold this morning. It's uh, it's not great right now, guys, but we're going to keep on showing you what we're selling or what little we're selling. That's what we do. So if it's slow for you, you're not alone. And this guy, this was the only thing that sold. Well, the only thing that I didn't ship out and show you already that sold yesterday. This is one of those teeny mates, and uh, he's a Dallas Stars hockey player. I think I've got these things up at uh, $349 plus shipping or something. I got a bag of them. One of them paid for the whole bag. And so then now every single one that sells is profit. And I was going back and forth on price with this guy. Yeah, he started at $349. I got an offer of, I think, $2. And then I came back at $299, and they came back at $275. We're arguing over pennies, but $275 plus shipping, I took it. So we'll put that guy in an envelope and make two bucks. Here we got Akeem, WWF, back from uh, 1990, I believe. And this one, I actually accepted an offer this morning from a buyer in Australia, 50 Australian dollars, uh, we're looking at uh, the conversion to U.S. dollars, right about $34, $35, something like that. So we'll make some money on Akeem. And then we've got this guy. This is Orvis. Orvis is a really solid brand, but it doesn't sell quite as well as it used to. You can now pick this thing up in more places. It's not quite as exclusive or high dollar as it used to be. And now my dog, oh, now he stopped because he knows I'm talking about him. Back there slurping up his water in the background. He stops every time I stop talking. Uh, we got an Orvis fly vest. It's a size small. Size small tends to be a little bit slower to move, but I did pick it up because it was only a couple bucks at a garage sale, and it's in great shape. And the Orvis fly fishing vest sold for $31.36 plus shipping. Bigger batch going out today and i'm happy with that some nice sales and viewer sales in the mix as well thank you guys so much for doing that richard petty race vacations this is not a high dollar hat but it was super clean and so i listed it and it sold for 4.99 plus shipping we've got another of our vintage marks figures going out uh, again some issues he was almost complete but you can see bottom half of his leg is up there under his chin so he's he's not doing so well tiny tim but the uh little blonde johnny west figure i priced it down for sure just these ones aren't quite as desirable as some of the others and then he's got issues so i priced it down and i guess i found the right price point because he sold for 9.98 plus shipping we've got this guy 
from The Last of Us. It's a prop replica there, The Last of Us. Just a little pendant necklace, and it sold also for $9.98 plus shipping. We've got a cabinet card going out. This is kind of cool. It's a family photo. You got the kid with the bottle there. I don't know. I, th I think that's kind of a cool one. And this sold for $15.79 plus shipping. We've got a viewer sale on this one. Look at that little bone china cocker spaniel. That thing is cute. And it's going out for $7.98 plus shipping. And it's going to Cynthia. So, Cynthia, thank you so much for stopping in and supporting the store. She said uh, her favorite reseller and uh, we're the reason that she got started in reselling, which is super cool. Thank you for that. Here you can see it's flashing. I think I left the, uh, the batteries in there, but they're obviously starting to run out. The Sony Sports Walkman FM AM radio. It's got the little strap on the back to put that on your wrist or arm or wherever you're going to put it. This is pretty cool. It just doesn't sell for as much as you might think it would. It actually doesn't have a very good sell-through rate, this particular model. And so I definitely priced it low. I priced it to move because I didn't want it sitting there forever. And then I actually sent an offer out on it, and it did sell on that offer, $8.53 plus the shipping. We've got another viewer sale here for uh, for the set of these. This one is Carrie, the 25th Anniversary Special Edition, Sissy Spacek, John Travolta. It's new and sealed, and my dog is now slurping water once again in the background of our video. Mountain Dog. He waits until I hit record, I swear. <laughs> so we've got Carrie. Carrie is going out. That one was $6.99 plus shipping and with it for the ps2 from russia with love this one sold for 9.98 plus shipping and they're both going out so i can ship this one as media mail games are not media mail so i i'll have to figure out the best way to do it i could probably put them together and send them first class and it wouldn't weigh that much more this doesn't weigh all that much so that's probably the way to do it and i can probably get you a couple bucks back on the shipping it's going to the roswell reseller so thank you so much cool stuff in that store by the way i was scrolling through roswell resellers store and some really neat stuff in there actually i saw a uh, louis l'amour book set i love louis l'amour as a kid I, I remember reading quite a few of those paperback books. Borrowed them from my uncle because I think he probably had every one ever written. And so I would go to Uncle Brian's Louis L'Amour Library and borrow some of his books. He's a fantastic writer. Um, we got another of our Godzilla figures going out. I think just one left from this recent buy. And I do have one straggler from a previous buy. Uh, this is the, uh, it's from 2020. It's the 1989 version of Godzilla. And yeah, we've been selling through them pretty well. This one, I sent out an offer and got a counter that I accepted. $39.99 plus shipping. They got a good deal on that. And it's all profit and we moved them out. So I'm happy with it. Here we've got a Lego set going out. Lego Creator. This is the downtown noodle shop. Probably should have asked the kid if she wanted this one. She is nuts for ramen. She loves that stuff. Not a high dollar seller there, but definitely will make some money. It was part of a big bulk buy. And this one sold for $38 free shipping. So, you know, it weighs a couple pounds, but there'll still definitely be some left. It depends, I guess, on where it's going. The free shipping model is always a little dependent on how far across the country you're shipping the thing. And here we've got a Coca-Cola lady. I actually have gone and purchased, I think there's a hundred plus, and they're not all like this. There are they're various decorations. Some of them have like a Tiffany style dress on the bottom. They're really neat. And I've got listed right now, I don't know, about eight or nine of them, something like that. I purchased a lady's collection. 
Uh, she had a big Coke collection, and she's getting ready to move into a senior living situation. And she said it's a little one-bedroom apartment. And so she had to, and wanted to, actually part with some of her Coke stuff. And or most of her Coke stuff. These were the centerpiece, I think, of her collection. And they're re they're just really cool. The design on them is really neat. They're individually numbered. This is Friendly Paws. It's from the Refreshing Beauty collection. There's lots of different collections, and they all have different names on them as well. You can see this one is 2011. Some of them are a little bit older than that. Most of them have a certificate of authenticity. I don't have the original boxes, but I do have the certificate for most of them. And so I've purchased... Her collection, along with a few other Coke things from the collection, some of them are uh, pretty rare. And it's going to take us a little bit to catch up and make our money back off of these because they're not real high dollar, but they are collectible. And it helped her out as she's trying to pay for her move. And I thought, you know what, there'll be neat things to put in the store. And so, uh, like I said, we'll be chasing the profit on that for a while, but hopefully they'll start moving. People looking for nostalgic things. I don't know. Maybe they want a little Coke figurine. We're going to give it a shot. So this one is the first to sell. I only have, like I said, a few listed and she's actually bubble wrapping the rest of them for me. So I don't have them in hand yet, but we'll get them very soon and start listing them if you're interested in Coke stuff. But this one sold for $25.59 plus shipping. 13 orders going out in this batch to finish it up. Gross total of just under $441. So pretty happy with that, even though we've got some small worthless items thrown in there. Uh, let's go, you know what? We'll start with the worthless stuff first. Let's do that. Here we got a duck. Of course, we sell the rubber ducks out of the store. You got to get your ducks in a row. Portion of the proceeds going to benefit the Gary Sinise Foundation. And so I don't think these worthless at all. Uh, this one, I'm not sure it's going to a viewer. We've actually had sort of a spate of them recently where I, I thank everybody that gets a duck just in case you are a viewer. But I think, you know, when I, when I go to check out your store or something like that, a lot of times there is no store or there are no items for sale. So I think some people are just getting in and getting the duck. So that is A-OK -okay with me, especially because we do get to send that money over to the Gary Sinise Foundation. This one going to Sally Ann. So Sally Ann, if you are a viewer, thank you so much. I guess if you're not a viewer, I will thank you as well. Here we've got a Micro Machines. This is a good one, guys. You can see on the front end there, the color a little bit like on the very front i know it's hard to focus it's a micro machine that's what it's supposed to be a much brighter neon and it's faded and it's supposed to be like a neon yellow and then the windows are pink this is the count it's a lamborghini and this is a good one guys there are some micro machines out there that carry some really good value this is one of them that carries pretty solid value it's just it got sun faded and so the colors aren't there. If this was in better shape, we'd get a good payday out of this one. As it is, it took us a little while to move it on. And then we didn't get a ton out of it anyway. But still, it's not bad. I bought it in a lot of a whole bunch of others. And the Lamborghini is going out the door for $9.98 plus shipping. So still pretty good. We've got these Riddell Mini Helmets in the store. I don't know how many more of them I have left actually, but I bought a bag of these for like three, four bucks. It's one of those deals where you sell one and then the rest, every time they sell, it's a little bit of profit. I mean, it takes no time to list these. Generally, I'd have to look at the listing, but my assumption is I did a, I, I like doing angle shots so you can see the front and the side, just like with a hat, right? So there's one photo, two photos, you know, three photos, maybe, you know, it doesn't take many pictures at all to list this. It's very, very quickly. And it's a sell similar and change the team. So these things are very quick to list. So I don't mind that I only make a little bit off of them just because it is so fast and they're great store filler and people love these things. This thing sold for $5.99 plus shipping, six bucks. I'll, I'll take that 
every single day. Here's another smaller thing here. Optimus Prime, of course, from the Transformers. This is a peeker sticker. You put it on the like the back or the side window in your car. This is $9.98 plus shipping. We've got some comic books going out today as well. Here we've got The Crow. This is uh, number one through... Let's move the micro machine so we don't lose it. One through three. So there's one, two, and three. And so one through three going out as a set. These are actually headed out internationally. These are going to the UK. $19.19 .19 plus. I think it was $23 shipping something. So they're paying more for the shipping to get it over there. But once again, another nice international sale. Here we've got shirtless Ken. This is not a high dollar Barbie. We've been selling some really nice Barbies lately. This is an older one that I've had in the store. And he's, like I said, not much, but not bad. $9.98 plus shipping. It's 10 bucks, guys. I'll take that. Here is, this has been in the store for probably a couple years. It's really cool, actually. I, I like this. I, I found a couple of these for different teams. It's from Starter. And this is an old NBA. It's like a t-shirt and mesh jersey stitched into one. So it's one shirt, but it looks like you got the t-shirt on underneath. Minnesota Timberwolves, definitely a faded graphic. So that hurt. But these are very hard to find. They're, they're just not many out there. I actually got an offer on this of $8, I think, is where we started. I had it listed at 28, I think, or 26, something like that. Just because of rarity, I price it up and then I wait to see what offers come in. So I got an eight and I just straight declined it. And then they came back at, I don't know, 10 or 11. And so I'm like, okay, well, they're, they're serious about negotiating. So I sent an offer of 20 bucks. And that was sort of where I was thinking my bottom line was just because of rarity. And they came back at, I don't know, 13, 14 something, I said 20. They came back at eight, 17, I think, 20. 18, I think, 20. You know, they, I was like, look, this is my bottom line. And guess what? They bought it at 20. 20 bucks plus shipping for that guy. Starbucks mug. This is just a basic Starbucks mug. 18 ounces. And, you know, it's just got a nice clean look it's got the tail on the logo there and this thing sold for 9.98 i believe plus shipping again one that's going to cost more to ship out than what they paid for it yeti look for that name guys yeti is a brand that's uh, pretty expensive when you buy it new very expensive when you buy it new and it has good resale value these are just handles for uh, our latches for a for a cooler just replacement if one happens to pop off or something. And these sold in a couple of days of me listing it. Inside of about a day and a half. 20 bucks plus shipping. Here we got another of our Johnny West figures. And I put in the listing. At one point, he had a run-in with a marker. And it left him with some scars. You can see there on his face. Otherwise, he'd have done better. There's some rub on his nose as well. So the coloring isn't perfect on the old... German Shepherd from the Mark's Johnny West set. This back from uh, the 1960s, early 1960 to 1963. I think they kept doing stuff even in the 70s for some of this, but uh, I believe this guy goes back to the 60s. And so considering he's actually in pretty decent shape, Flick is, Flick is his name. And I took an offer on him of $45 plus shipping. Not bad, especially considering the wear that we've got. I like selling hats out of the store. Easy to list. Great filler. I list hats. I do an angle, like I said with the helmet. I do an angle and then straight on, just for picture tips. I take the back out, so it's actually out. But then I take a side shot, shoot it from the back, again from the side, and then usually over the top. And then I'll shoot inside so they can see. I, I buy a lot of hats, guys. I buy hats on eBay. You want to take pictures of the inside. So sometimes it's two. I'll take a picture like that so you can see the, the sweat band and you can see if there's any 
staining or any wear there and then i'll take a picture inside so they can see inside if it's a like a new era something like that and you want to show the brand you can take a picture of the tags as well but hats very easy to sell on ebay they don't sell really quickly but once you get enough of them you'll randomly sell a hat time to time and so this one is pretty cool i, I believe i got this one on a whatnot auction for relatively cheap and this is a vintage Carolina Mudcats hat. Major League Baseball team, or minor league baseball team, excuse me. Minor league hats tend to sell pretty well for me. And this sold for $19.19 .19 plus shipping. I like it. And then this one, I accepted an offer. I think I sent an offer out and got a counter that I accepted. I, I, I would have liked to get a little bit more, but right now, you know, I, I'm accepting reasonable offers when things are slower. It helps, I think get the store going and so i did accept an offer on this peter parker the spectacular spider-man number one uh 30 cent cover and that's what we got for it was 30 30 dollars 30 bucks plus shipping for that and then i almost i don't know if that's subconscious or not but we skipped over this and we should we should talk about this one um wizard of oz i was going to try and take the lid off so i didn't break it so Wizard of Oz cookie jar, I bought this at an estate sale. It was either $15 or $20 that I paid for this. We got Dorothy and Toto sitting on the top there, which is super cool. I wanted to take it off so I could show you without breaking it. Uh, we got the Scarecrow. There's the Tin Man there. This is a really cool cookie jar. Got the Lion. And we got the Emerald City. This is from 2000 treasure craft this is from 2000 this is hard to find and wizard of oz stuff is collectible now there is stuff of course out there that's just not worth as much but this is one that does hold some value that is relatively rare it was a long tail item you're waiting for the right person to come along you're waiting for the wizard of oz fan that's willing to spend a lot of money on a cookie jar but they're out there and this did sell i did recently drop it in price by about 20 dollars and so I think that's what triggered it. I thought, you know what, if we lower it, let's see what happens. And so I did lower the price and it sold. Uh, sold for the new full asking price. $86.40 plus shipping for the Wizard of Oz cookie jar. So that's what I've sold over the last couple of days out of the old eBay store. You know, we, we got the teeny mate, the, the guy that sold for $275 plus shipping. It's all profit, all two dollars and 75 cents of it of course you got to take your fees out and yeah i've got to put it in an envelope and i guess i paid a penny for the label that i put on the envelope you know, there are costs right but that's the cost of business uh you know a, a lot of times i'll see that comment on stuff that i pick up at a garage sale and they're saying well you you wasted your gas you know you, you spent more than that in gas to get there you don't go to garage sales looking for the small dollar stuff, right? You go to garage sales hoping to find what you can find. I would actually be wasting the money. You know, you want to talk about wasting money, wasting time. It would be a waste for me to walk out of that garage sale with nothing, wouldn't it? If I see the small dollar stuff and go, I could sell those 10 things for $3 a piece, or I could just leave them and walk. Isn't it wasting the money to not pick them up? And to walk away because then you've gone to that garage sale and you've spent the gas and the time and got nothing out of it. I'm making something out of that stop, right? And then in terms of selling it, as I explained in the comment, you know, I don't sell anything small dollar that's going to take any amount of time. You know, I, those little, like the teeny mates, I think those are two pictures front and back. You sell similar and change the team name on it, just like the helmet. And it's very, very quick. Or sometimes, you know, we've got the vintage pins in the store. Those are quantity listings. So yeah, maybe it sells for six bucks, but it sells over and over and over again as a quantity listing. Once again, the time, super minimal. The gas I spent, I already spent it. I was already there. That's ignoring the fact that that's a deductible cost, right? When you do your taxes at the end of the year. And honestly, I kind of enjoy it. I don't know why. I kind of enjoy selling those little things, you know, it, it, it brings me joy. It brings me 
some uh, some fun listing them. I don't, I, I can't tell you why. There's the nostalgia. There's just, I you know, I like the little things. And, you know, not to elevate our job as, as resellers to some sort of custodian of history, right? But in some sense, we are preserving little bits of history, especially those little vintage things. Somebody's going to get that and put it on their desk or on their shelf or wherever, and it's going to probably remind them of a time from their childhood or from their past or, you know, from a friend of their, whatever it is, that triggered a memory for them. And so if me picking that up for a quarter, selling it for $5, if that's going to put a couple bucks in my bank account and bring somebody some joy on the other end of the transaction, why not? We all have to run our business the way we see fit to run our business. I don't mind doing it that way. You know, people will say, well, you have to work harder to make money that way. A little bit, right? I mean, and plus that's the area I'm in. It's tough here, guys. You got to scrape to find the dollars here in Western Montana. It's just tough. And so I'm not going to turn them down. If I see $2 laying in the gutter, I'm going to bend down and pick that up and put it in my pocket. Same thing with $2 sitting on the garage sale table. I'm going to pick it up. I've been broke, guys. I've gone and given my plasma, a guy that doesn't really like needles, I used to give plasma, drive two blocks over with the debit card that they gave me and paying me for my plasma and then filling up what I could off of that card into my gas tank immediately when I got out. That was just so I could have gas to drive around until I could go and give plasma again the next week. I've been there. I don't mind working hard for my money. And I say working hard. It's not hard. It's just working a little bit more. But if you enjoy what you're doing, why not? That's how I run my business. If it, like I said, if it doesn't work for you, do something different. Guys, I appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time.